Welcome back everybody to another video. Today's topic is going to be about another place that I like to go vintage shopping in the Seattle area. We're going to be going thrifting in the U District area today. For those of you guys that aren't from the area or know of Seattle or any of that sort, U District is essentially the area around University of Washington, hence the name. Specifically the Ave, we are going to go to a bunch of vintage shops today that are on this single strip so it's easy to just park and make your rounds through. And so I'm going to be talking about some of the pros and the cons of each shop, what I like, if I find anything, kind of show you guys the ambiance and the vibe. Sit back and enjoy and I'll catch you guys there. So, in case anyone needs parking, yes, that is beer on the road and a Red Bull. College. College. But I like to park in front row area. There's a big, or, sorry, Greek row area. There's a big strip of just parking spots in front of these frat houses. So that's a good bet. First shop that I swung by was Red Light Vintage. I had not actually seen this until Richie Lee made a video about it with Brandon. Um, Beyond Cure, shout outs to the two of them. That place is insanely large. I think even on their Instagram, they took the title of largest vintage shop in the Seattle area since 1996. So they live up to it. We walk in and it's just racks on racks on racks on racks of clothing. The curated aspect of the vintage mall, but purely clothing you know how the vintage malls i showed you guys you have to sift through like a bunch of antiques and stuff to find the clothing boost this one just bam vintage clothing bam everywhere and so we spent a good amount of time there i saw so many gems like this navy jacket this u.s army navy jacket uh, i like that it's all color coded or color organized by color it had all the whites in one area all the sweaters in one area that were gray like everything was very well kept whilst though the price being pretty reasonable i would say for a vintage store i'm i'm used to these antique booths at epic antiques or pacific gallery charging an arm and a leg because of their curation but some of these items are still pretty reasonable t-shirts are about 15 to 20 dollars or 28 there's racks of just single stitch items too so if you're into that i think that's a really good price nonetheless this shop is a gem i would go back um, when i'm looking to revamp my wardrobe even more but red light vintage i highly recommend it good prices good selection uh, my girlfriend may have not thought the same. This, this is what she said. What are your thoughts on red light so far? I mean, all of the girls, college girls that are into thrifting, you can find them there. The prices are expensive. You're not really selling the spots. <laughs> I don't think I am trying to sell the spot. I'm just saying, it's expensive. But you got college girls that are willing to pay 30 bucks for a t-shirt. It is pretty pricey. And yeah. Whilst the price being pretty reasonable, I would say for a vintage store. And so, with what she said, it, it, you are with all the other college students that are also into the vintage shopping now. So, just just mind you. After that, you walk next door and you're at Goodwill. And Goodwill here, uh, it's a hit or a miss. It's either really good or it's very disappointing. I personally, if you, and I don't need to talk much about Goodwills, I literally talk about Goodwill like in every other video on this channel, but just so you know, a lot of people or students here are going to donate their used clothing or their used furniture, so it is a good place if you come at the right time. And, but mind you, on the days where it is good, I've found some really cool stuff. This Wolverine jacket is from this Goodwill. This Wolverine jacket, I managed to sell for $125, buying it for $25. So there are some gems there if you go on a good time. So maybe don't go on a weekend, go on a weekday, um, and maybe you have less competition and be able, to, be able to soup up some stuff. But we saw these chairs. I saw these dining chairs that I really wanted. It was a set of eight, but they were kind of short. and But they were $5 each, and I saw so much potential in them that I just had to pass on them. But it was a kind of a dud to say the least for today. I don't like that thrift stores operate on seasons as well. 
where they're just trying to sell the inventory that they wouldn't normally sell in other seasons. So now it's like spring, summer. It's all the t-shirts, button-ups, not the stuff that I keep in my wardrobe because I think I'm the only one that would wear outerwear during a spring, summer. But you'll see me digging through these racks. It's, yeah, it is what it is. But moving on, um, the last shop in this video is Lucky Vintage. And if you know the name Lucky Vintage, it's actually from Ballard. If you've been to the Ballard shop, I'll throw up their Instagram. This is a little bit of their shop. Their shop is also really, really cool. They are on the pricier side from most vintage stores, but their pieces go all the way back to like 50s, 60s. And so the owners are really well knowledge in vintage clothing and what they've curated. And so again, you're really paying for the, the shopping experience, but they got some really cool pieces in that store. Like, like this vintage UW jacket or this Apple tote that I really wanted, but I have well, like four tote bags now and I don't need any more. So I have to, you know, refrain from, you know, wanting to get more. But again, they have a good selection in my opinion of a very specific style vintage clothing. Definitely smaller on the smaller side of stores. However, I would still take the time to peek into it. Some of the cons, again, it's just a smaller selection really. And their prices are a little bit on the higher end, but I can see why just given what they've curated. And so, that's really it for today's video. It's a short and sweet one. I kept it short and sweet. If you guys like this, comment down below. I know you guys really like these shopping guide videos that I put together. So if you like it, comment down below. If you know an area I should visit next, like let me know. Or if you've been to those places and you've found some better stuff than I have, by all means, comment down below. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.